Oh, she is. We talking about the what? little girl who was go. abducted from the... Okay, let me tell you what happened. The little girl was at the elementary school. Her mom had dropped her off at the elementary school in Philadelphia. A regular elementary school, not a preschool. They had a substitute teacher that day. The mom doesn't just hide. <laughs> oh, we've been coming though. <laughs> we come. Oh, okay. Good to see you. So, the mom drops her off. She gonna work, whatever. Some lady comes into the school 20 minutes later. Tells the substitute teacher, which from my daughter telling me it's a man, tells the substitute teacher that she's the girl's aunt. She's dressed in completely Muslim garb. Only thing you can see is this much of her. She's black from head to toe. She got that much just the eyesight open. She picks up the little girl. He don't question her. He don't ask her, you know, is this your aunt? But then I've I hate to say I fought the little girl, but where the fuck you go with her? You know you don't know that bitch. Why did you go with her? No, no, she, I'm not trying to point But to Okay, me. but I'm, 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 I said, I can't blame the little girl, but I doubt somebody that teach their kids to be street smart would have went with that lady. Because she would have been like, that ain't no, my no, auntie. No, no, my thing is the school system needs to check their record. I mean, their procedure that's worth releasing kids because... That lady had to have been on a list, and they should no, have been able no, to check her. No, 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 she wasn't. But what they, I'm saying is, he just let her go because he could, because just for that fact. So the school district is under fire now with the state out there. They're under fire. It's all on the news. They're under fire because he didn't follow procedure. He was supposed to go and see, you and know, she, on the release, yeah, on, it, on, on the and, and, yeah, and she, he didn't. He just went on the lady's word that she check was an aunt. First yeah, all, she, he didn't do none of that because he's a substitute and his obviously he don't take his job serious. He's just trying to get a substitute teacher to check because he did that. But now I bet you he don't have no damn job. But the bottom line is when she showed up unable to see the face, as a principal, as a relief person, I would say, I need to see your face so I can match you yeah, with your ID. Yeah, the substitute teacher, that's what he should have said. I need to see your face yeah. so I can match you with your ID. Yeah. And then not only your ID, I need to see, let's go to the to the office and see if you on the emergency card. That you on the pickup list. Yeah. Or so, let me call your mama. Yeah. Or do you even know her? I mean, do something. Do a little bit more research then. But I thought that was standard procedure that they do that. Well, that's what. Uh, that's why the school is under under. Um, the school is under investigation by the school district, and the school district is high. Oh, right. And the school district high. And the school district is in trouble with the state of Pennsylvania now because of that. So now, let's get past that part. And the part where they got her on tape, they got the video of watching her walk out to school with the little girl. But so that's how it proved. That's, and then my daughter said they telling people on the news out there, if you recognize this woman. And my daughter's like, how can she you recognize her? How are you going to recognize her? She is complete Muslim guard. All complete Muslim and guard. And then everybody, now, I talked to an old white man today at the hotel. Because we was watching it on the news. And the old white man, that's the first, the one that you said when he came to the bus, stupid, talking about, he didn't know your granddaddy. <laughs> you stupid ass. That one, he, um, <laughs> I just thought about you said that. You said, there go your granddaddy. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> he was trying to ask me how to get to Camp Creek. He's talking about that to, if he went to Camp Creek to get his rental car, that it would be half price of what he had to pay at the airport. And I said, here's my, can he walk? First of all. I said, you can't walk? First of all. And she said, it's not close. <laughs> the I only said, place to pick it up. It's by yeah. what Thornton Road, Thornton Road, where, where Camp Creek turned into Thornton Road. I know there's some car rental places there. But I said, I told him, I said, that's 10 more miles away from Camp Creek where the little shopping center is. So you can't walk. That's about 15 miles away from here. 
She said, oh, they said it's only five mi five minutes. I said, they're a five minute lie. He, well, he must have been trying to pick it up at the airport, off property at the airport. He was trying to pick it up at the airport because when I dropped him off, he says, when I dropped him off, he says, well, I'm going to the car rental place. I said, okay. So he, go, he goes there and he says that, if, I guess they must have told him it'd be cheaper for him if he goes to Camp Creek. But see, Camp Creek is really just Thornton Road. Because after you pass that Walmart on Camp Creek, that's Thornton Road, right? Camp Where the 20 Creek freeway is? Yeah, Camp Creek, it turns into Thornton Road. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So after you pass Camp Creek and, it turn, and that Walmart, it turns into Thornton Road. And so basically, that's really where they telling him to go past there. And he talking about, could he walk? I said, you can't walk over there. And then he that said, confused because they talking about five miles. They were just telling him. No, not five miles. I said, five minutes away. I said, it ain't five minutes away. It's longer than five minutes. And so, this is the people at the, the one at the airport is telling him to go, <laughs> go that, go there. It'll be half off. And so then I said, well, maybe they can bring the car to you and you, you pay something a little bit extra and you take them back. And he was like, let me go back over there to the car rental center and see yeah, if we could work out that. something. If we could work out something like that. I said, yeah, you better probably try to do that because if you don't, you cannot walk all the way over there past Thornton Road to that car rental place. So anyway, that was that. But no, he was watching the news show with me inside the hotel when um, I was waiting to do my last run. And he was asking, he said, it seems like that's procedure. At schools now, you should have to ask, you know, should have to check ID, you should have to sign people in, sign people out. He said, especially in elementary school. I said, yeah, that's it. They, they're saying now that's why the school is in trouble. And I said, I hope that they fired that substitute teacher. Let me just quote you. The dad's substitute teacher already been fired. <laughs> just in case I didn't know, huh? His paperwork was, was from that first day when she became missing. Fired. <laughs> missing and fired came out in the same room. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I'll... Well, videotape. I got a quick question for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> is it wrong to go to a wake and leave before the wake is over? Because I want to go home <laughs> and watch the new episode of oh, American Kathy. Idol. <laughs> no. Is it wrong for me not to go to this driver's meeting tonight so I can watch American Idol? That's the real question. That's the fun part of American Idol when they be doing the... Um, That's, I don't like it after they pass all the auditions. They ain't funny no more then. I just like to see these fools know they sound like a dog um, singing and be acting like they sing better than dog on lean a horn. But we laugh. But if I felt like I could get in line and get me an audition... You do it. And, and I do some loose attempts. Let's hear your audition right now. <laughs> okay, let's do some. Uh, let me see what we're going to do. Let's do, uh, <laughs> let's do uh, Wow, those kids, they have a fun down there. Let's do Black Street by Joel, the song that says, Woo! Goodbye, loneliness, and the song known to my heart and now that joy has taken over and decided to stay. Yeah. All right. Like no other love before. <laughs> okay, there you got you a $2,000 contract. I want American Idol. Oh, yeah, you want American Idol. You <laughs> got you a $2,000 <laughs> contract. Nice How you doing? How you doing? Nice <laughs> Got you a two thousand dollar contract now. All I would do is get you to audition, and I can hear Simon now saying, "Sir, that was absolutely dreadful." I think he's off there now. It's only I don't. I want to see it, but then I don't because I don't like Nicki Minaj. But the fact that I just <laughs> like that show. It was just see they had balance when it was Simon. Mm-hmm. Uh, the girl, uh, the crazy girl. Paula and yeah, Paula. Uh, uh, what's the other man name? Um, Randy. Randy still on. Randy, huh? Look, yeah, look. Randy is yet hanging on to the Lord's unchanging hand. He ain't gonna let it go. But, but they had. He Bella. ain't no fool. They had Randy, who was just. I'm not gonna. Not Randy. They had Simon. Mm -hmm. They had Balance. 
Simon was the one that said, I'm just gonna tell you whether you want to hear it or not. Yeah. You had Randy who was a step down that tried to play um, low key and, and not be so hardcore and blunt. Yeah. And you had Paul in the middle that said, well, I'm gonna praise you a little bit, but you have these faults. And, yeah. But that's okay, you sound okay. And, but it had balance. And but I, I think that's, I think Simon's role is gonna be taken over by, um, Crazy, what's that crazy girl, Mimi? I just had Mariah to ask, Carey. I just had to ask, is it wrong to sit at the wait and front and and, 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 and and it's 7.30 leave. <laughs> <laughs> Put your finger up like in slavery, I got to go. <laughs> no, I think that that's, <sighs> look, he, he's slowing down. You okay? You okay? You okay? Okay. So, I, it don't be nice. I can give him five more minutes. I can eat that. Well, that's what I'm Stand saying about five. me going to the driver's meeting. Now, I might have to act like I fell asleep and then didn't wake approach, back up. Um, I didn't approach Mr. Um, Henry today. He came to me. Uh -huh. All of you know, man, I forgot. I forgot yeah. to mention it to him. But I promise you, I mentioned it this week. And um, we'll hear something. I said, okay, because I ain't going to say nothing else. You was hot behind homeboy, huh? Huh. Said you was high behind Reginald. I want to tell him, sir, if I fill out the application, obviously I can read. You'll be surprised how many people can't read. They drive a bus. You'll be surprised. And then I can read on two levels because we had gay uncles that helped raise us, so I could go and pull up some of their quotes and read them on his level. <laughs> <laughs> you said I can read that kind of way and read words, huh? But I didn't want to go there because I need their job. If you have to listen, I need your job. <laughs> I keep saying you want to come work. I'm going to go look for us some other jobs, too. I want like my to sister was saying, let's go to Emory. We should go to Emory. See if we want to drive those buses they were at they Emory. High? I don't know. Because they do a couple of good rounds. They do all of the um, Emory University class. Mm -hmm. I just want to go somewhere where I have peace. That's all. I, I just want to go somewhere where they respect the driver. They say, this bitch been driving for 25 years. And I really believe she know how to turn a corner. I really believe she know how to do a log boom. And I really believe that she ain't trying to just tear up every piece of equipment we have. I think we should give her a job. Instead of digging their hands in the miry muck of the bullshit and pull out people like that girl Sherry that tear up everything she get her her fat ass in the seat behind the steering wheel oh there's a red building and they sell barbecue let me go run into it no I'm not a gossiping man but according to Miss um Yolanda's mother um Miss um Dang, Lily Lillian Lily whatever mm -hmm. she said they supposed to be getting new buses at the jewelry yeah she told me that all of them supposed to be getting a new bus Except for you all. Except for us all. because we're y'all. because we're you know, we're still in the slavery mode and Sorry. we don't deserve that we deserve the one pair of pants per year. We promise we're gonna keep it real on videotape, darling. You got your new boat. They cut it and they put you some new fire. They washed it. They washed it. That really made it new, huh? And they gave you a little design on the side with orange paint. And they took the dog on. They took a glue stick, a twenty five cent glue stick and stuck it inside of the mirror so the mirror can stay on. Woo wee! They splurge. They splurge. They put you extra 25 be cent on it. And the bracket is still broken around the mirror, but that's okay that the federal government say the bracket's supposed to be, not supposed to be broken or cracked or the seal ain't supposed to be broken or cracked. It's okay that the federal government say that because in Georgia, you can have it broken, I guess. Okay. So I don't want you to lie on camera and say you didn't get your new bus. No, I got a new bus. They went out with the old and brought you in the new. They brought me in the new. They hit me upside the head and said, boom. Or they did me like they did on, um, what's the name of that show? With Will Smith. Not Bad Boys, the other one where he played. The Martian Chaser or the Monster Chaser. They did me like that and put that little thing to make my mind think something else. 
<laughs> it says, Zap, you have a new bus. And your luggage <laughs> rack can serve two purposes. It can hold luggage when there's luggage to be carried, and you can play ping pong on top of the table. Wow. <laughs> I never thought of that. Multi-purpose. Or we can put a dog on checkered. Um, tablecloth and have us some damn picnics, huh? You have some picnic. It's multi-purpose. It's multi-purpose. All the other buses ain't gonna have it. They don't have that at all. Tell you. So our bus, we got it going on. And, 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 we, and we, and we, we, like I said, been and here. And you got, not only do you have the multi-purpose lucky rack, but you got leather, um, studio, uh, what they call it, when you, when you go and you set up your room for the, the new thing now, um, theater seating. Oh yeah, I got theater seating, it's turned to the side with seat belts. You better have seat belts when you turn the damn corner, your ass gonna slide out the seat. So you gotta have a seat belts to keep you in the seat. I just want you to know, darling, praise God, cause you got your, <laughs> you got your new bus. You said I got my new bus. With your new size, I just love the size. I got a radio that you got to be having nothing but a pin drop going for you to be able to hear it because it don't turn up no louder than that. But it, hey, but it's a radio. The blue light come on and you hear it. You got to say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hear that? See, I just right. think that you need to just raise your standards, lower your standards. I, that's what I got to do. I, that's what I got to do. You, you right. I got to just lower my standards. You may not be able to get the new bold speaker. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate the Walmart special. Child, that's below Walmart. That's the nigga handed, hiding in the damn back of the alley. Talking about, what you need? What you, I got what you need. What you want? What you need? I got it. I got it. And it's some radio that came from the 1980s. That that's as far as it could go. Turn up to level two for the sound. And that's it. You got sound, don't you? Well, the brakes in my loan will be here, man. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, that's so right. They so bad. When I get out the loan, will be here, I'll be tapping my brakes saying, Damn, my brakes feel funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> we used to riding around with the low pedal. So when I get in my own vehicle, I'll be like, Dang, am I going to stop? Oh, my God. <laughs> in my own vehicle. Yeah, um, your bus for your company, I guess they must really going to go on and fix whatever was wrong with it since it's taking a long time at least they're not doing like nti nti has to be done oh just put it put it in low let it just drive five miles an hour you'll get to the airport eventually you don't worry you you it. look they say you got one more tooth inside that dog going transmission click down all the way to low you got one more gear left you guys back in motion. oh yeah yeah thank you. oh was you too hot yeah. Oh, yeah, take your coat off. They say, you going too fast. You don't know. This is supposed to be a scenic tour. You supposed to, take, supposed to take you the whole 30 minutes to get to the airport. You ain't supposed to go to the ground. Don't pick up nobody. Just go there and take you 30 minutes to get the back and take you 30 minutes to get back. We got a one-hour shift. That's I am it. I'm going to teach you how to find the positive and all of that. <laughs> that you have that one gear to get you to the airport. All your job is to get the people to the airport. That's it. Take advantage of the one gear because you could not have that. That's it. That's it. Or they could ask me to get out and push it like they did Manasseh. Uh, can you get out and uh, when you pass by the bus, uh, do you think that you could uh, push it from in front of the hotel and push it out of their way? He said, I ain't doing that donkey job. And he's from another country, that's why I said it. I said, well, he, he could use the other bus and push it. Yeah, I guess, I, I guess both of us never thought about that. But then why tear up the front end of the bus to push another bus? Don't act like you ain't never pushed a bus with another bus. I have not ever done that. Because I'm high class, so when I used to right. own my own buses, we called right. a tow truck. I didn't care that it did cost $500. I paid yourself, it. You save the tow wheel. Yeah. And, and that's what he was trying to do. You get a bonus on your check for saving the tow wheel. And what was the bonus? That the ink is a little bit darker. That's about it, right? All these years I've been driving at this company, I've never had an accident. Do I Have I ever got a bonus? Hell no. 
Yes, you did. You just missed it. You didn't, you what didn't was see them the owls on the other on your paycheck. Bonus. You didn't see them owls on the other on your paycheck. What's the other? Bonus. Shit. Yeah. Well, that oh. counter can't spare bonus, so they put the other. <laughs> you a mess. <laughs> we ain't even talking they about the little girl. The they had to say the ink. Yeah, okay. It was too many letters to put bonus. Oh my God. It's about the same amount of letters for bonus and other. <laughs> I'm saying, we need to talk about the little girl. Back to the girl. So she is safely back with her parents now. So this is what happened. So this was the girl, little girl that told the people, the police, that wherever she was, there was another little girl there. I guess she might have been a little bit older. She woke her up in the middle of the night and told her to walk her to the door and told her to run. So this little girl ran and so they found her at the park. Well really the guy, it was a he's a young guy too. He was he looked like he might be about 25, 30. He was walking to work and he said he heard something sound like a cat. And he said he got closer to it and he heard a little girl crying and he saw her under a uh, um, slide in the park. He had, I guess he had to walk past the park to go to work. And he said are you okay? Yeah. Okay. He said, um, wow, I guess he said something to her. She said she was stolen. She said they stole me. And so then, he said she didn't have no drawers on, no pants on. All she had on was a t-shirt. And so he calls the police. Um, and so now, the I, I don't know, it's a very weird, um, story but my daughter's like when she was telling me she was like I'll be freaking out but my problem is this too she can't understand why somebody would do that I said you know what the problem is this they probably have been watching that mother and father because the, the little girl's mother and father are together I said they probably have been watching the mother and father they probably go to the store with her they probably go you know to the park with her and stuff and they probably been trying to watch the little girl all the time just to see you know, how when was the way they can get her? And I said, I hope to God they wasn't them type of parents that put her damn name on everything. Cause you know you're not supposed to put your kid's name on their backpacks or their jackets or stuff. Cause that's how people catch kids too. Cause they just call them by their name. Oh, cause the girl's name is Alexis. They'd be like, Oh, Alexis, how you doing? And they think you know them cause you know you know their name. So that's been since my kids was born. They tell tell you not to put. The, um, oh, name, name. Yeah, the name on stuff. So I don't know. I hope it comes out good. I hope the little girl can get. So it made national news. Yes, it was all on CNN and HLN how long, for how two long days. One day, because the other little girl let her told her to run that night when it happened. So for one day she was missing. Oh, I'm sorry. For one day she was missing. But that's just so sad that they would, you know, take the little girl. Little girl, what was she innocent? Five years old. But like you said, I hope it really went down like that. I'm missing fire. I hope they did that to the man. A five year old. I'm hoping that the five year old can say, "Let us take you around." Yeah. Maybe she'll see something that jogs her memory. Yeah, that's because what my daughter was saying. The good thing about it is, if she only ran. Ran from the house to wherever she was found. Uh, it's a small area, yeah. and I'm hoping that they can search. So go knocking on doors. Yeah, I'm hoping so. And, and I really hope they can find girl. that other little girl. That's my main thing. Find that other little girl, cause so that's gonna be the problem right there. I feel like the other little girl is the one that y'all need to find. Okay, I gotta go. This is Oliver. And Chris for our walking diaries. My, I didn't use the bomb of tape now. I gotta go. <laughs> we'll see you guys next Wednesday. See you later.